OMG, look who it is. One half of the women's tag team champions, my partner. Hello to you too, partner and fellow tag team champion. Isn't it wild how far we've come? You used to hate me. Hey, we've been over this. I didn't hate you. I just resented you and hated everything I thought you stood for. Ah, yes, totally different. But water under the bridge. Feels easier to get along when we're champs. Speaking of, as champions, how should we kick off defending our titles? Why not hold an open challenge? Seems a good way to show the WWE Universe that we mean business when it comes to defending our gold. I love it, partner and fellow champion. Okay, that's starting to get old. Yeah, I regretted it as soon as I said it. I'll tell you, nobody makes an entrance quite like Oscar. A grand entrance for a Grand Slam champion. The following is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers first from Osaka, Japan. Beware the beautiful fury behind the mask because destruction awaits. Just check her resume. A Royal Rumble match winner, Money in the Bank contract holder, NXT, SmackDown, Raw Women's Championships. Oh, and Tag Team Gold too. Nobody meaner than Tamina. And her partner from the Pacific Islands, Tamina. It's not surprising that pretty much everyone has to be on the defensive around Tamina. She just loves hurting people. No, she just loves to flex her power. And there ain't nobody meaner than Tamina. Unparalleled aggression and next level brutality. Here comes trouble. And L at Ava Marino. Here we go, guys. We're finally going to crown a new champion here tonight. Cole, this match right here is the absolute definition of history making. Whoever wins this will forever have their name in WWE history books. And that's really saying something. The WWE Universe wanted it. The women deserved it. A legacy continues to grow tonight. The WWE Women's Tag Team titles are up for grabs. The former tag team champs refuse to go away. You have to respect them answering the champion's open challenge like indestructible villains in a horror movie. A horror movie we've seen too many times. 
I think I speak for the WWE Universe when I say it's time for a new era in tag team dominance. Will Asuka and Tamina regain their tag team titles from the new champions? Or will the champions kick off Corey's new era in tag team dominance? It's time to find out. This pin attempt for the championship. The champ with a surprisingly quick kick out. What stamina. It's truly impressive to completely beat the count here. Reversal. Can she capitalize? And did you hear the impact of that? And a drop kick. Picture perfect. Telling her opponent that she has even more left in her tank. Three. All right, that's it. Strong kick to the body. Down goes their opponent. And this is the sort of ruthlessness it takes. Look at this. <laughs> left by the turnbuckles. Trading counters, an absolute master class. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Driven down face first. Asuka looks to capitalize after the reversal. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. With the Larian. Double axe handed. She's firing up, no doubt about it. Big time power slam. Telling her opponent that she has even more left in her tank. Boom, right to the midsection. Anything Asuka is trying is being suppressed. Asuka certainly being tested here. Nothing fancy here. Backbreaker. Backbreaker. And she's stunned in the corner. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Big back body drop. Oh, kick to the kidneys and a clothesline. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. <laughs> Snap, suplex, very effective. <laughs> With the reversal. Able to sidestep it. Who take down skull first.
but somehow has the incomparable power to kick out before the one count. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Quick thinking to unleash the clothesline. is the Bellas made quite an impact here tonight with their shocking return. We haven't seen them in quite some time, and now they just cut to the front of the line for a tag team title opportunity. Don't ever underestimate the Bellas cutthroat mentality. There's a reason they're Hall of Famers. I don't think the tag champions will be underestimating them after this. Unbelievable. I didn't realize you were here tonight. Uh, last minute podcast business. Sorry for not giving you a heads up, but I'm glad I was here. It's just like the Bella Twins to show up and ruin everything. You okay? Yeah, and it sounds like you have something in common. They're also upset about never having the chance to compete for the tag championships. Don't say that. I have nothing in common with them. Those two ran me out of WWE. Didn't your injury run you out of WWE? My injury just sealed the deal. When the Bella Twins arrived, it was the beginning of the end. Suddenly, no one was interested in the women as athletes and competitors. They started telling me I was supposed to be a diva. You should be thankful you don't have to deal with that. I still don't know if that's exactly the Bella Twins' fault. I wonder if you'd feel that way if your matches kept getting bumped for bikini contests or schoolgirl matches, or pillow fights. The Bellas may not have been the whole Divas division, but they were a big part of building it. Honestly, I always liked the Divas. Seems like your real issue was with WWE management. Did I ever tell you I was supposed to give a retirement speech? After I found out I could no longer compete, I was going to have the chance to go out on Raw and have a proper farewell. I really wanted to thank the fans for supporting me throughout my career and tell them firsthand why I had to leave. So what happened? It was cut for time. WWE decided to cover the Bellas going on a double date instead. Wow, I'm so sorry. I never had an issue with the Bellas, but knowing that definitely puts them in a different light. And I'm certainly not a fan of what they did to us tonight. I'm not going to let Nikki and Bree push us around. You know, WWE has been requesting that I book the Bella Twins on ruthless digression so they can do press on their various frivolous projects. I blew them off because of, well, everything. But maybe it would be a good idea to set up an interview. 
Would be a real shame if anything happened to them while they're recording in the studio. I understand what you're saying. Anything can happen in a podcast studio. And it won't be a pillow fight. I'll talk to Ava. It does seem like both of you always manage to keep busy, even before your surprise return. Groundbreaking reality shows, a podcast of your own. When you were in WWE before, you each held that Divas Championship, but whoa! Smackdown is our show now! Stay in your lane! That's enough! You've done enough! Break it up! What the hell are you thinking? Get them out of here, now! What did the trainer say? I'm okay. They said I'd be out for about a week, but nothing serious. That's frustrating, but it could have been a lot worse. Didn't expect the Bellas to be ready for us at all. Maybe we underestimated them. Just a little bit. Take care of business until I'm back, okay? I certainly will. There's two of them, but at the end of the day, they're just the Bella Twins. Get ready for one of WWE's most eye-popping athletes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied by Justine from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, L. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE, about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. Let's see if this superstar can show us something special tonight. Pins of the women's revolution. And their opponents, Nikki and Brie, the Bella Twins. Two main event competitors who are absolutely unstoppable as a team. Yeah, all thanks to a little twin magic. to show why they are the greatest women's tag team in history. This fearless rookie may be fighting the Bellas by herself tonight, but she didn't come alone. For the first time since Survivor Series, Justine is back! And what a time to return. There's always been bad blood between Justine and the Bellas, and it looks like it's about to boil over here tonight. It's Oh, stomping away. Tandem offense in effect. 
A good team knows how to truly work as one. Impressive reversal there. Fez press. And that was an effective attack, guys. Tremendous series of kicks. She's starting to look concerned. Face Buster! Oh, yeah, she's saying, let's go, bring it. This is not the time to be diverting attention away from your opponent. Yes, tag! Then <laughs> here come the punches. Expecting it. Escape just in time. Suplex. Distress showing in the face of Nikki Bella. Nikki's having real trouble fighting back. Vicious kicks to the jaw. Uh oh, this is just vicious. Nasty stop of the arm. All right, that's it. Put it in the corner now. <laughs> oh, another oh, one for good measure. And just like that, we've kicked. Nikki counters the strike. But Justine doesn't seem content to just sit on the sidelines. Justine's doing everything she can to keep her niece in this match. What's Natalia doing out here? And why is she helping the Bella Twins? <laughs> Nikki nails the spear. And it's over. Natalia's distraction is enough to help the Bellas help themselves. In any event, I'm sure we haven't seen the last of this rivalry. Not with that ending. And not with the Bellas continuing to stir things up here on SmackDown. We still don't know why Natalia got involved, but it looks like Justine is even madder about it than her niece. It's no secret that I've butted heads with both the Bellas in the past, but I am done with the shade being thrown on them and the WWE Divas division. I'm not an idiot. I know what some people have said about the women involved in that era, both behind our backs and to our faces, or in some people's cases, hiding behind a keyboard on social media. But the truth is, the Divas division was made up of talented competitors, all looking for their opportunity to shine, just like the women of today. As Divas, we had to fight for everything we got, whether it was a chance to speak or a two minute match. I would have thought a superstar who did her fair share of time in catering would understand taking advantage of every possible opportunity. Make no mistake, I am damn proud of how far this women's division has come. But I'm also proud of where we've been. It's time to respect the women who helped pave the way for the women's revolution. That includes the divas. And if anyone has a problem with that, they have a problem with me. Crazy that only one week out of action has made me this fired up to get back in the ring. Good. Use that fire against Natalia. Actually, I wanted to talk to you. We certainly need to take care of the Bella Twins. But I'm not sure I would have gone so hard on them on social media in the first place. Justine's been telling me all about what she went through with the Divas nonsense. How the Divas division changed WWE for her. For all women, really. Listen, no disrespect to your aunt, but I kind of see where Natalia's coming from. I think she has a point. Maybe you're right. I did see her point when Natalia talked about hustling for opportunities. We can both relate to that. But that doesn't mean I don't want to take down the Bella Twins. Oh, me too. And it'll be an epic takedown. Besides, there's no use debating the past. Not when we can defeat all four of them and also have a little fun in the present. 
I can't wait. This is about our tag team championships anyway, not my aunt's grievances. Sorry if- Uh, speaking of, look who just turned up. Did you know your aunt was coming tonight? I did not. I'll see what's up. You feeling ready for your match tonight? Ava and I are good to go. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm here to put a stop to any divas, naturally. And if Natalia and Beth want to take on that mantle tonight, that includes them. You mean watch us do that? Sure, that's what I meant. And I'll be in your corner. That's great. Thank you. Believe me, it'll be my pleasure. Wait a second, what's happening? I didn't think the Bella Twins were here tonight. The Bella Twins aren't, but the tag team champions are, and it looks like they're having more than a little fun imitating the Bellas. They're dressed just like them, too. I don't think it's meant to be a tribute, Byron, although they certainly must have studied their tape to get the Bellas moves down like that. It's a catchy song. Kind of makes me want to dance and swivel my hips like the Bella Twins, too. Please refrain, Saxton. No one wants to see that. And I think Natalia and Beth Phoenix will want to do a lot less dancing and a lot more fighting when they get out in the ring. And I don't blame them. It's disrespectful to make fun of the former divas like this. Well, that's a score we have to see settled here tonight. As this match gets underway, is there any concern the tag champs may be splitting focus between their opponents and the Bellas? I agree. It could be giving Natalya and Beth Phoenix extra motivation to set these young champs straight. Well, they're going to have to set a legend straight while they're at it, because Justine has come to ringside in the champs' corner. We'll see what role she plays in this match. Tag switching it up. Oh, yeah, she is really getting fired up. Shoulder tackle. She's in. Wow, look at the court. Wow, submission locked in. Nowhere to. Now the backbreaker. This is excruciating. Oh, what an escape. Oh, scold the ball. Shoulder oh. here. And the ref stops the count. into the corner. What a suplex. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. Oh, looking for the, the pump handle. Oh, nice slam. Oh, what distance. Things taking a turn for her now. Well, we knew going into this match that it would be physical, Michael, and I'm sure she will tag out when the time is right. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. He wasn't tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you got to deal with two. It's the dual combo, Saxton. Look at this kicking combination. Tag made. Improving a bit slippery for them there. Mistake. 
Double under. Uh oh. Uh. to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Ah! And she's stunned in the corner. Ah! Oh, back, back, body drop. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Right, oh, she sent flying. She's feeling the hurt here. <laughs> Goes down low. What are we about to see here? Cross-legged DDT. Cover. Dying a two count there. She shows that she's far from finished. This will not end well. Back suplex on the apron. The apron can do some serious damage. It might be worse than being hit with a steel chair. And now gets tossed into the ring. Oh, man, check out this power. Set up for something in the corner. How did scout it? A stalemate of counters. Oh, look at this. Oh, pump handle into a gut buster. Nice. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Oh, 
Moonsault connects. Nice go behind. Up across the shoulder. Is there any life left in Beth? There's two. Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. I thought for sure this thing was wrapped up. Well, stay in your seat. Looks like we've got a ways to go yet. And now it's reload time. Time to find out the moment to pull off that one more time. And she's using this moment to summon all of her strength. Answering back. Butterfly double underhook up and face buster. Cover. Frankensteiner. And Beth with a counter. Oh, this isn't gonna be good. Got Buster off the shoulder. She saw it coming. Oh, she's trying, trying to create space. Ooh, look at her answering back. Quick take down there. And the hits to the core keep coming. Natalia in off the tag. Wheel barrel flapjack face first. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Four. Just driven into the mat. And she keeps delivering shots to the torso. She's been effectively targeting that area throughout this match. Places her right in the corner. She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. Whoa. Come on, what's going on here? Pay attention to your competition. Natalia might be wasting too much time worrying about the crowd. And now, guys, this is a very concerning development. Referee needs to examine the situation. Now, this is the result of constant attacks to the torso area. That's got to be it. And they're still in this. She turns it around on Phoenix. Moreno with plans on ending this. Shot right out of the ring. Precisely measured attack. form of offense with that move. She's going to try it again. Uh-oh. Oh, timely counter by Natalia. The boat, Natalia, doing what she does best. And gets to the ropes. That's going to force the break.
But these two performed like they're born to be a tag team. If they stay together, watch out. Better get ready. The following is a tag team steel cage match. And it's for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. And L and Ava Moreno. So much on the line here tonight, guys, as we look to crown a new champion. That's right, Cole. We're guaranteed to have a new champion at the end of this one. It's not very often you can say that. before the women's tag titles ever existed. But now they plan to make the entire women's tag team division suffer. The WWE Women's Tag Titles are up for grabs here tonight. This is sure to be a momentous match.
The tag team champions rivalry with the Bella Twins has led to this. One grueling match to stand tall over the tag team division once and for all. Past, present, and future. Those are some serious dragons. The champs have had some extra pep in their step with Justine in their corner, but they'll have to beat the Hall of Fame Bellas by themselves today. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. She manages to get control. Dogs is out of the way. Beautiful now. Of 
showing in this steel cage match. She could be near the end here. She comes off the cage for a harsh landing. Ooh, things definitely didn't go to plan for her. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Three words on the tackle. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Tremendous impact on the double stop. Oh, impressive counter. Down low, what are we about to see here? Cross legged DDT. Bree is having problems here. Bree has to wake up and fast. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. You know, a sidewalk slam. Look at this kicking combination. Nice go behind, up across the shoulders, into the gory ball. I think the champ's got it. Oh, yeah, she's saying, let's go. Bring out the cross like a DDT. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Jarring impact. The champ not looking great right now. Honestly, considering this is a cage match, I'm surprised it took this long for the damage to pile up. Escape the attack. Oh, what happened? Gotta wonder if the stamina is there to make it all the way. Taking the easy way. Oh man, by the hair. Oh, Ooh, a nasty kick. And she is making climbing a steel cage look, look easy. She has to come down somehow. Hopefully it's in one piece. Making the big climb towards victory. This is where champions are made. Heart pounding, adrenaline pumping. Keep those hands and feet moving, and don't stop till you're on safe ground. And she doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon. A really impressive showing in this steel cage match. She could be nearing the end here. Could not have felt good. The sprint up the cage is on. And there she is, finally reaching the top of the cage. She's going for it. She's able to capitalize on the moment and make her way up the cage. She can't be liking the view from up there. The tag team champions retain. Here are your winners. And the Team champions, L and Ava Moreno. These two superstars have combined to form something unstoppable. Taking down the Hall of Fame Bellas just cemented that for anyone who doubted them. A Hall of Fame worthy victory for the tag team champions. These two looking like a force to be reckoned with in the women's tag team division. Great match, great defense. And it doesn't hurt that your performance sent those Bella Twins packing. <laughs> Hope we don't see them again. I know you have history with them, but they didn't seem so bad. Besides, Ava and I took care of them. Take a moment to celebrate and relish the victory. But don't forget that the real work is just beginning. I understand. Just because we defeated the Bella Twins doesn't mean there aren't more women coming for our tag team championships. That's not exactly what I meant. Keep defending the tag titles, but you'll be ready to go for a singles championship soon. That should be your real goal. Get a few more rivalries under your belt and keep establishing yourself. Then we'll talk next steps.